All right, Peter, there's a new story today outside the lines. I've read some of it, a lot of rehash. This time the um, the story kind of dives deeper on the Patriots. Maybe there was young people going into locker rooms and stealing play sheets. What was your is your initial reaction to the story? Uh, initial reaction is that, uh, you know, what surprised me is that the NFL evidently found evidence uh, of multiple games, as many as 40 games that the Patriots had taped, uh, which I guess really shouldn't be that much of a surprise. Um, you know, the other thing that I thought was really interesting uh, is that Mike Martz, who, uh, I, you know, from the story had been asked, by the NFL to basically uh, say that he was okay with the investigation that uh, the Patriots had not videotaped uh, their practice the day before the Super Bowl when the Patriots shocked the Rams that year in the Super Bowl. Uh, and uh, so Martz, uh, you know, claims now uh, to, to ESPN that 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 statement, uh, in his words, I believe he said, appears embellished quite a bit um, and said it was changed. And so, look, I mean, you know, for a lot of fans, probably most fans, they're going to say enough of this. We're sick of it. Enough of the anonymous sources, many of whom have been wrong over the months. Uh, you know, let's just play football. You're going to get your wish starting on Thursday night. But this story is going to continue to have legs because uh, there are a lot of legs with the story. Do, do you think Green Bay thinks differently inside those locker rooms? Do you feel the same about the Packers? Because I think Jordy Nelson in big games does matter. No question about it, Colin. But just remember, in the three years, the last three years that James Jones, who's not ancient, in the last three years, James Jones played for them. He and Aaron Rodgers had tremendous chemistry. You know, they 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 connected for 24 touchdown uh, t- 24 touchdowns in those three seasons. This is an incredible stroke of good fortune that the New York Giants cut James Jones because now he comes in uh, and you know, look, I, I've got I've got a story running on our site at the MMQB tomorrow about. Aaron Rodgers and, and, you know, kind of a deep dive into Aaron Rodgers and what makes him kick and why he doesn't throw interceptions. And one of the things he is adamant about is we do not have a number one. This And he said this to me before the Jordy Nelson injury happened. He said it to me early on in training camp. I sat with him for a while. And, you know, he takes great pride in saying, okay, last year it was Devontae Adams. This year it'll be Ty Montgomery I, or or whoever. I think he feels like they can overcome this. I think the bigger loss, the much bigger loss, in my opinion, is Cam Chancellor in Seattle. Um, if he doesn't show up this week, and as I wrote yesterday at the MMQB, I, there's scant optimism in Seattle that that holdout is going to end. There's no way, if they were optimistic it was going to end, that they would have traded a fifth-round pick for the third-best strong safety on the Kansas City Chiefs. So, I mean, to me, when I look at this thing, Colin, uh, that, that, the, the two injuries or the two missing pieces to me that are going to hurt the most right now, in my opinion, uh, with contenders, is uh, Orlando Skandrick in Dallas, uh, the, the yes. probably the best slot cover guy in football, yep. and uh, Cam Chancellor. All right, I'm going to give you a team. We'll wrap it up here. Peter King, MMQB, Monday Morning Quarterback. I'll give you a team and give me just kind of a a sentence, a quick sentence to describe sort of your sense of what will happen this year. Dallas Cowboys. If they can overcome the Skandrick injury and keep Des Bryant healthy, they'll win 11 games. Philadelphia Eagles. If Sam Bradford plays 14 or more, they have as good a chance as anybody to win home field in the NFC. Oakland Raiders. A fascinating team. If you could isolate just the top 22 players, the starters, they could be a competitive team. Their depth stinks. Um, I still think they're a couple of years away.